there's a guy by the name, there are two guys by the name of uh, Joseph Langston and another guy by the name of Richard uh, Scr- uh, Scruggs. It's a tough name. S C R U. Buster Scruggs, yeah. Okay, so we got we got Richard Scruggs and we got we got Scruggs and we got Langston. Langston happens to know Wiley. Wiley was his pilot. Well, Langston and and Scruggs end up getting indicted for bribing judges. In fact, that out of Mississippi, they end up bribing a uh, uh, bri- end up bribing a bunch of judges. Scruggs is the one of the la- has one of the largest tobacco settlements in U.S. history. Forty, he got he convinced forty six in forty six different states. He convinced multiple tobacco companies to pay out two hundred and forty six billion dollars. Oh, he made, he made over a billion dollars himself. He's one of the richest fucking attorneys ever. Holy Damn. shit. Here's the interesting part is he did that. Part of the way he did that was bribing judges. Yeah. Oh. Judges, juries, lawyers, everything. So when these guys get indicted, they got a major fucking problem. Yeah, the problem is, is they that, got dirt on everybody. Right. So when the government steps in and they've indicted these guys, do you prosecute these? How hard do you prosecute these guys when these guys are going to touch judges, prosecutors, yeah. other lawyers, defense attorneys? Right? They're going to. And one of them is uh, a U.S. <laughs> senator. What, one of the guys that was involved was a U.S. senator. Think about it, a senator can put pressure on the on these tobacco companies. Just sell, right. just sell, just sell. So they come in. Langston gets indicted. Sh- Scruggs gets indicted. They need to get. They come in. They are going to plead guilty. They plead guilty, but they're going to get their sentence reduced. How can you get your sentence reduced? You have to cooperate. Yeah, you got to testify. And right. Cooperate. Well, yeah, but if Danny and I both plead guilty, who am I cooperating against? I don't really have anybody. So yeah. the more you can provide, assuming you have stuff to provide, which they don't have a lot to provide. So they're they're trying to get a sweetheart deal. Well, Wiley ends up telling Langston, listen, I can give you information. I can give you information on on a on a a, a company that's a that's a is about to be indicted. They're going under. They they stole a bunch of money. It's a Ponzi scheme. I can give you information. You can give it to the government, and you'll get a reduction for that. And so Langston says, "Okay." And I have the uh, the report. That's the report where I said I had that report where this was when he talks to the FBI. Oh, Joey Langston. Langston gives the information. the 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 source of the information was Kevin Wiley. Mm -hmm. And Langston gives the information to the IRS. Well, what happens is the IRS ends up saying, and it's all on Capitol Blue. They talk about Capitol Blue. At his sentencing, they talk about how he gave information about Capitol Blue, and they're going to reduce his sentence because of this information he gave on Capitol Blue. Okay, Danny, for you to get a reduction, you give information to someone. So I tell on you, you get sentenced, you get found guilty, sentenced, and then I get my sentence cut. Mm Mm-hmm. In 2007 or 8, he was given a reduction on his sentence. He got 30, he got three years. He got three years. Capital Blue wasn't prosecuted until 2015. So you gave the information, you got your sentence cut. Before, pro, before Capital Blue was even went to trial, mm-hmm. he'd already served his time and was out. Years before. Wow. Years before. Now the other guy, I'm pretty sure that uh, Scruggs is still is still locked up. He didn't have the information, and the problem is, is that if you look at it, the I, the IRS, the agents say that the information he gave didn't help at all. It was useless, but they used it to give him a reduction. So, how do you cover up all of this? How do you make sure that that he did give us information and we did use it and it did help? You have to have the prosecution, but but. Hamburg won't prosecute. So DC comes in, takes the case, and they prosecute because we want to make sure there's prosecutions and uh-huh. there are people found guilty because we gave this guy a sweetheart deal. Right. So that's to me that makes sense. It's it's a loose connection, yeah. but it's it's a connection for sure. They're all and it's all capital blue, and it doesn't make sense. You gave this guy a reduction for something that, yeah. that just doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. So 
anyway, so that's that's all. And the whole thing is, and here's the thing is that anything that Donovan files, Mendoza automatically denies. And you were asking, like, why would he do that? Yeah. Right. Why does Mendoza keep doing it? Right. So the only thing that makes sense to me is, one, it was his first case. Two, you're you're bringing up mistakes that he made. Mm-hmm. So my first case that lasted eight or nine days cost probably a million dollars to try. <laughs> and I kind of botched the case. I let in evidence and I got a guy that says he's guilty and he, go, he went to prison. It's better for me to keep him in prison than for me to say, I fucked up. Let's yeah. give him another trial. Let's fix this. Damn. I don't want to say that. People don't own up to their shit. Yeah. They better off bury it. And what does it matter? We got some black guy who digs digs holes. He's some yeah. he s- sells dirt sells for a dirt. living. Yeah. <laughs> so is he as important as a federal judge's reputation? No, of course not. Let him do the time. And honestly, I'm sure in, in it's just like, it's just like, just like the Mueller thing. Yeah, kind of. They, they don't want to. They don't want to tarnish their reputation. Yeah, they're not going to take the fall for fucking right. these guys. Yeah. Same thing with Rossini. Right. Um, let, he's a drug dealer. Let him sit in prison. Same with this guy. He's they don't just care. some. He's just some black guy that digs dirt. What does it matter? Let him sit. And in his mind, I'm sure he's justified it too. Yeah. Keep in mind oh, too. Oh yeah. Donovan. He did get people to invest in the in the into in the a fund. scam. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And and look, maybe even Mendoza initially but damn, thought he didn't deserve 17. Right. No. Well, but when he gave it to him, he probably thought he did. But yeah. But since then, you've got. You've got you could, at this point Mendoza knows there's overwhelming blowback. Why right? Why is the government destroyed evidence? Yeah. Why right. have they destroyed? Why did they erase the, the servers, tapes? hard drives, right. laptops? Exactly. Why and and what about these witnesses? Why right. these guys? What the affidavits? Yeah. At this point, he's making shit up to deny it. Right. Oh, they're all in the same font. What are you fucking talking about? They're in the same font. <laughs> yeah, that's Jesus a crazy Christ. ass excuse. I mean, it true. was Frank Amadeo. Right. It was Amadeo. He's fucking doing that. He's, no, it's not. I mean, he's uh. not even looking into it. So the other thing is, and we had mentioned this was uh, what was funny is that uh, so so I get out right. I get out of prison. All this stuff's going on, and since I've gotten out. I was still in the halfway house when I talked to Damien. So I talked to Damien. I tell Damien, look, man, uh, uh, I ask him, you know, to look at the story and help me with the story. <clears throat> yeah. Let's write a backstory. What's your opinion? What do you think? Mm-hmm. Donovan's ready to talk. Mm-hmm. He's ready to tell everybody I didn't do it. Damien spins me. Oh, I, I, I read the story a long time ago when it was on the website. Uh, I'll let you know. Let me let me let me read it again this weekend. I call him after the weekend. What happened? Did you read? I didn't get time. I'll read it in a couple days. Call him again a couple days later. Oh, I I'm, I I started to read it. I'm going to read it this weekend. I didn't do it. Then eventually he just, just doesn't answer the phone or return a text. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, he didn't want to talk about it. So I tried to have a discussion with him. He just won't even discuss. He, he keeps spinning and spinning and spinning. Blaine, on the other hand. Blaine's fucking a maniac. Blaine has an <laughs> assistant that sent me, while I was in the halfway house, sent me a fucking email saying he had read the whole thing and that it was just nothing but blatant lies. And I was like, so I can't, he said, and if I didn't remove it, within the next 10 days, he was filing a lawsuit. So I came back and I said, well, first of all, I'm not going to be threatened. I feel pretty confident that I am protected by the First Amendment. Yeah. And that even as a felon, you can't take that from me. Right. I said, and you're some fucking guy <clears throat> in prison. I said, so listen, listen, I said, I'm not doing that. But what I will do is this, Blaine. I said, anything in this document that you show me that I cannot prove or that I've said is 100% true and isn't, I will certainly redact it or mm-hmm. I, will, I will rewrite the entire thing based on the evidence you can provide. Right. So he comes back and he says, you said this. And you said that, and I, and you know, uh, where did you get that information? And I said, well, I got that from the IRS agent, no, the Secret Service agent that, no, it was the FDL, FDLE agent that testified at your sentencing, the, or uh, that testified during your trial, the trial that you lost. Are you saying that the FDLE agent lied? Mm-hmm. Right. Or FBI, whoever it was. I think it was FDLE. Uh, um, are you saying he lied? Because you lost trial, so clearly it was believed. So I feel pretty confident about that one. Well, 
uh, where did you get these numbers? There's no proof that I have any uh, offshore accounts with any money in it. And I go, where did I get that, the offshore accounts? Well, here's where I got it. And then I say, this document, this, this. You told the IRS agents this. This, 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 this. Yeah. I said, and I have proof that money was wired here, here, here. And I have proof that you went in. So I explained the whole thing passes on that then he comes back well what about this you said this i said where'd i get that i got that from your factual stipulations which you stipulated to at sentencing so i got that from what you said or are you telling me that you lied to the court because that's where i got that from what you said what you agreed oh, to. God. he comes back well you said that the fbi proved that i was funneling money offshore the, you don't know what you're talking about. He goes, the FBI, this went on for, a, by the way, a month. Back, forth, back, through his assistant. Yeah. He comes back and he says, he says, the FBI wasn't even involved in my case, or in Capital Blue. You don't know what you're talking about. And I come back and I go, Blaine, I said, you're absolutely right. But when I did a Freedom of Information Act for a PFG and on Wusendorf, coupled with uh, a request for any information for, with Capital Blue, I got the FBI documents which stated that you were liquidating the, the assets, you were liquidating the company, and you were shipping all the money offshore, and that Wusendorf was working with you to funnel money offshore. And I gave him the, uh, I gave him the actual numbers of the documents, mm -hmm. and I said, I suggest you do a Freedom of Information Act for the Chicago um, field office for the FBI. You'll get the same documents. I never heard from that motherfucker again. He told me he was going to sue me. Damn. No, he knows you got it covered. I got you, bro. I'm not fucking around. What happened to Wusendorf? Oh, Wusendorf, he's still in prison. How, oh, how long? Oh, he God. got like... He's done. Oh, he was done. He right? got like a hundred fucking years. He went in at 70. He was, goes in at like, yeah, like, I think it was, actually, he's probably... He, was he had a good run, though. Over 65, at least probably wow. 65 or 70. Oh, yeah. Poor bastard. Yeah. Trying to like, off hey, Poor bastard. He's getting like half a billion. guys that gave him money. No, I don't mean half that. Half a billy. 20 Tried fucking to kill years. himself, woke up, handcuffed to the yeah, bed. That's, yeah, you know that what's sucks. so funny? Isn't that the saddest part? That, that is, is the saddest, saddest part. part. I, I almost feel like, God, bro, I was rooting for you to kill yourself. I'm I surprised know. you didn't do it in jail. I mean, one, your Ponzi scheme, although you had a good run, your Ponzi thing falls, falls uh, apart. Damn. And then you figure, fuck it, I'm going out on top, and you botch that. Fuck. Fuck.